Good morning. My name is Dave Niedermeyer. I'm the VP of Sales at uh, Knight All Devices and Components, otherwise known as NDC. NDC has been around for 20 years, and our focus in those 20 years has been supplying the medical industry with quality night and all products and services that include materials, component fabrication, and medical design and development and testing services. What I'd like to talk to you today is a little bit about night and all and what happens, uh, what we promote at the shows and some of our products, uh, specifically on the material side and how those materials relate to uh, the components that uh, we ourselves uh, make for customers and the materials we provide to customers uh, that they can uh, turn into medical de devices. Uh, Nitinol is known for a number of things. One of them primarily was the thermal shape memory capability of the material where at a certain temperature you could deform the, the wire or tube and upon heating back the material would return to its original shape. This was the original application for Nitinol that uh, uh, got the industry very much excited about it and it's used today in a lot of actuator applications um, uh, primarily in the commercial, uh, automotive, uh, and mechanical industries. What NDC is more focused on and what the medical industry likes is uh, the super elastic property of the material. So it is elastic shape memory so that when the material is bent it will return to its original shape. And you can do that, you can strain the material out to about 8% and see full recovery. No other material, engineering material, can do that. Stainless steel uh, will yield when you take it past about 1% of strain, but as you can see here, the nitinol returns to shape. Now, some people think, well, that's great, but can you also do some have thermal shape memory with super elasticity? And that is that is actually true as well. When nitinol goes through a, a temperature change, it goes through from an austenitic to martensitic phase transformation. And by cooling this down, what I can do is change it into martensite, deform it, and as long as it stays cold, it'll, it'll be deformed. But you can see as it heats up, it returns to that transformation, above that transformation temperature, and goes back to its austenitic or super elastic nature as it was before. So all nitinol has both thermal and elastic shape memory, it just depends on the temperature. What NDC makes uh, on the material side is wire, tube, strip, sheet, all different forms of the material, some of those that you can see here in the uh, display case. And from those forms we, uh, we can provide custom-made components such as wire forms, um, uh, stents, filters, uh, what you see here are some examples of some wire forms um, and some strip forms. Uh, the major, one of the major applications for uh, nitinol in the medical industry is, is for nitinol self-expanding stents, where you would start with a tube about this size, laser cut, shape set, expand, and then electropolish, and at the end of the process you have a nice finished stent that's very elastic, very flexible, and when it's deployed in the body um, uh, is uh, self-expands to its final shape and, and holds the, uh, the vessel open. So uh, we do a, a wide variety of, of, uh, of activities uh, that range from the materials to actually the, the finished components such as this.